Okay, we're live. Hi everyone, I am Chrissy Buck, social manager here at Knox.net, and I have today with us Mike Messiah. Hi everybody. And he is the founder of Knox, and we are gonna be talking about video today. My favorite subject, let's do it. <laughs> video is everywhere. So I'm wondering, Mike, since you're the expert on video, <laughs> uh -oh. how video is changing the way we live and how that is overlapping into our career. Well, Chrissy, look at what we're doing right now. I mean, yeah. we're having a Facebook live chat on video, right? So video is the manner in which everyone seems to want to consume their information in today's world. And you look at the rise of YouTube, if you go to Facebook or LinkedIn right now and you look at your, your activity feed, and you scroll through that, what do you see? You see a majority of video-based content. And the minute you move your mouse over it, what happens? Motion. I think we're, as human beings, we're image-driven creatures. You know, we certainly like the experience of seeing motion and having multiple senses engaged at the same time with not just what we see, but what we hear. And video drives all of that. So we're in the video age now, and I think it's important that people understand how to, uh, number one, understand that, but then number two, how to leverage it and best uh, use it to your advantage. In the career-related world, employers are starting to understand the value of video too, and how when they see and they hear you, uh, they can begin to get a pretty good sense of the core intangible traits and the qualities you bring to the table, and it's all captured and communicated through video. Yeah, yeah, so, um, so you were talking about employers. So how important is video during a job search? I think it can be extremely uh, valuable and important and one of the things I would say to our viewers, to those listening today, is a distinction. Uh, if you imagine what employers are going through every day, guys, and believe me, I did this for 20 years, I, I, I know wholeheartedly, we're inundated with resumes and email inquiries and introductions. 99% of the introductions we're receiving in the employer sector today are email introductions with resumes attached or online data applications, right? And so imagine if as a candidate, you did those things, but then you threw in one last little line, which is a link to your introductory candidate video, and uh, they'd be able to actually see and hear you. You know, as, as human beings, I said that we're, we're image-driven, and we are, but we're also curious by nature. And right. I think what that gives us the opportunity to do is, if you send a video link to an employer, I'm not going to guarantee you they'll watch it because that'll come back to bite me. Probably be that one person out of countless ones that doesn't do it. Yeah. But I think it's highly likely they're going to be curious enough to go, oh, a candidate video. I want to see and hear this person. I'm going to click on that link and watch your video. And that's a chance to distinguish yourself and really stand out from a very large crowded pool of applicants. I think that is so cool that, that you're able to um, get in front of the employer before anybody else using the Knox.net platform. And um, what else I think is cool is that, and I would be this awkward person, I would walk into an interview and totally mess it up. Um, but I can record my video 50 times and get it right and put it up on my Knox, my Knox profile. You're, you're, you, you're the only one as the video developer <laughs> who goes, all right, I'm trying to do a video, take 16. You're the only one who knows that it's take 16, right? Yes. What the employer sees is your best, uh, your best product. Um, so if it takes you 22 times, that's the beauty of video. That's okay, and yes. that's to be expected. Uh, listen, I've done videos before, and uh, I didn't get it on take one either, and this is my specialty, right? So it's okay that you get to do retakes. What you can't retake is the interview. That's if right. you're in an interview <laughs> and they ask you a question, like Chrissy's asking me questions today, and I guess... We're live. I've got one good shot to answer this right and maintain your interest in what we're talking about and your enthusiasm for your guest of today's show. So uh, in an interview, we get one take. In video, we get as many as we want, and that allows you to calm the nerves a little bit, mm -hmm. take your time, know that the only one the employer is going to see is your best product. Yes. So um, what advice would you give to somebody who is on the fence about making a video? Maybe they feel like it would hurt their chances um, for employment during their job search? That's a good question, Chrissy. I mean, when I, when I think about that question, probably the two most obvious examples are someone who maybe thinks they're an older candidate, and that, that may come across in the video, or someone who may be really, really young, 
and thinks that they're not going to take me seriously. So addressing both of those, the first thing I would say to your older candidates out there, uh, your age is what it is. We can't change that. Until they invent a pill that I can take that will reduce my age 25 years for a period of one hour, you know, kind of like the, uh, uh, what is it, uh, Cinderella going to the ball and yes. she has a beautiful gown and the carriage and all these wonderful people helping her, but at midnight, the clock strikes and all those things go away and she is who she is. We are who we are. Mm -hmm. Rather than avoiding that, I say embrace it. If we think about an older candidate, what advantages does that bring to the table? Uh, you're more likely to be more reliable, uh, more uh, longevity, more of a loyal, long-term thinker. Um, you've got emotional maturity. You've got a lot of wisdom and experience you can bring to bear on the position. Those are opportunities to sell those exact skills and remind the employer who's watching your video why hiring an older candidate would be more advantageous. And so I say take your age and use it as a string, uh, not as, as a perceived limitation. And if you're a younger candidate, what's your resume going to say? Mm, that you're not experienced. And that in of itself creates some challenges that you need to overcome. So my advice to you as a younger candidate is video is a leveler, right? It levels the playing field because although you might be inexperienced, you might be incredibly positive minded, very articulate and charismatic, very driven. Mm -hmm. And although you can write that in a cover letter, the tone, the sincerity, the, the intent, all of that is lost a little bit. When you can speak for yourself as a younger candidate on how you bring certain qualities to the table that will help an employer, all of a sudden they're willing to overlook your lack of experience because they, they see a good core set of intangibles that they can train and teach you through. And, and that's very valuable too. So video gives you the chance to really level the playing field. That's awesome. And um, okay, last thing. Tips for creating an impactful 30 to 60 second Knox.net profile introductory video. Tips on how to do the best video. So I would, I would probably advise all of you listening today to focus on intangibles, focus on attributes. They're going to see your resume, right? And what does your resume already highlight? Well, it already highlights where you went to school, mm -hmm. where you've worked, and what your job title was. So don't spend valuable video time just re-summarizing all those things that the employer's already going to see in the video. Think about things like you know, what uniquely qualifies you, what distinguishes you from everybody else. It's attributes. Mm -hmm. Chrissy's set of attributes are, are different than mine and she brings certain strengths to the table that I, I couldn't hope to bring to the table <laughs> and vice versa. You know, it's what makes each of us unique. So. Yes. I would really encourage all of you watching today to highlight the intangible traits you bring to the table that uniquely qualify and distinguish you. That's what I would focus on. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Chrissy, and uh, thanks everyone for watching. Yeah. Yeah, so if you guys have any more questions um, or are ready to make your own Knox.net profile, you can go to Knox.net, K-N-O-X-X.net and like us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Knox Talks. And so we will see you next Wednesday. Bye. Bye everyone.